Welcome back my lovely Pisces viewers to your weekly taroscope. I'm Katie. If you have any personal questions that you need answered, then please visit my website katietarot.com and you can book your personal reading with me there. Okay Pisces, this reading is for the 4th through to the 10th of December 2017 and it is for Sun, Moon and Rising Sign Pisces. And this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Pisces. Pisces. Pisces, okay. Mondays and Tuesdays, energies Pisces. We have the Nine of Swords. So something is on your mind, something is not going as planned or there is some anxiety in the air from something, okay? You might find that you are thinking about family matters, okay? Or you are thinking about an important conversation that you might need to have with somebody that's close to you. Um, it may be about resources you know maybe about finance and how you're going to improve that for yourself or the expectations that you have for that in the future all right so that energy could be manifesting in you as uh, anxious thoughts and things like that okay this is coming in monday and tuesday we've got the five of swords so I am feeling that there is an opportunity here, Pisces, for you to become harmonious. Um, if you're able to, uh, if you're able to tune in with the knowledge of your deeper self. Okay. So let me just have a look at the next few cards. We've got the King of Wands, and we also have the Three of Cups. Because it looks like that there is some kind of celebration or there is some kind of wonderful event or happiness or a culmination of moving forward energies that's, that's really positive and uh, something that you have been hoping for that does look like that is coming up very soon. Uh, so if you're able to tune in with your intuitive self, your higher self, and regain this wonderful empowerment and the spark that drives you then this is going to benefit you and it's going to counteract uh, the thoughts that you have been having around this area whatever it is all right so family matters or a conversation maybe that you need to have with somebody um, it could also be financial could be job related as well all right so if it is job related for you, Pisces, I do see that there is an opportunity coming up here with the King of Wands, you achieving the job and there being a celebration as well. So I feel that the energies are going to rectify themselves. I feel that they are going to um, play out as they are meant to um, and, and a refocusing of your energies and intention is going to bring the energies towards you faster for what you would like to manifest and how you would like situations to go. So just keep that in mind, Pisces. And now let's have a look midweek and see what's going on here. We have the Seven of Wands. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. See, so things are starting to move. They are unstable at the moment though, okay? Um, they are, they're, they're in movement, they're in flux. Okay. So that's why things might be a little bit stressful at the moment. Things might seem a little bit off balance or that you're not achieving what you would like, but that's because the energy is in motion. Okay. And we've got the eight of pentacles. There is more money coming in. There is a job on the way. There might be news that's coming in relatively shortly as well, okay? It might not have been as quick as you would have liked, okay? But, you know, with these cards up here, but there is an energy of movement and of that coming towards you um, shortly, 
okay so looking Wednesday and Thursday's energy you might have some kind of change in direction career wise that's going to improve your financial situation there may be some news or there may be an evaluation um, of yourself in terms of which direction do you actually want to go in okay where, where where are you going to focus your energies that you might have to narrow down your focus and um, and pick a specific area that could also be the case here um, and so this is looking very good in terms of the energy starting to settle and starting to um, for you to manifest uh, what you would like all right what what you really want what you have been aiming for um, if this is a conversation earlier in the week that you're worried about having with somebody, then it looks like it's going to be fine and work out in your favor with the seven of wands. It's not going to necessarily be easy, but there's going to be progress that's going to be made. Okay. That's the most important thing here. Let's have a look later on in the week. So Friday, Saturday and Sunday for you Pisces, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this has been a longer time coming for you. You would have liked this situation to have been dealt with sooner. You would have liked to have made the progression already. But, you know, the energy is still in flux here. The energy is still moving. So you have to uh, work with that. You don't have any choice. And it's for your benefit anyway, for whatever the area of this is in your life. Um, there is a benefit here to, to being able to just go with the flow and learning how to do that. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Um, let's have a look at the next one. We've got the Ace of Cups. So this is what your heart desires. There is a potential, there are wonderful opportunity and opening up of achieving what you would like on a heart level, not just your mind, but also what, you know, is going to make you emotionally stable. Um, if this is a relationship for you, then um, things are going to change or there's a potential there for a newness coming in. And the change is going to be positive, a positive newness, positive change. Uh, this can also mean some kind of after a, um, a growth and fertile period over a while, you could also be producing something wonderful. So this could be a birth of a child. This could be a birth of a concept. It could be the birth of a relationship and concept for work or a new business opportunity. There is um, a waiting period, but then something is going to arrive and you're going to have that uh, wonderful possibility moving forward of great fulfillment on an emotional level. And there is a creative element here. It's very practical. It's very earthly. There is a body element here as well. Um, so if you have been having some health issues um, in terms of your physical body, um, then it looks like there is some improvement to be had. And we have the four of wands. We have some stability coming towards you. And we also have the three of pentacles. So we have more income, we have um, you taking center stage in terms of your love life and being in control of that and um, having harmony and having a balance there in terms of your finances or your home life as well, whatever this is for you. So there is a wonderful newness that's coming in, um, a possibility of regeneration and of growth and of harmony as well. So this is all very beautiful energy. Pisces. Um, there may be a relationship here that is going to really jump ahead. And this is going to be through uh, wonderful gestures from you to another person or them towards you. OK, and it's going to be really thoughtful with the Knight of Pentacles there. Very thoughtful. It could be a gift. It could be more time. Whatever this is, you'll know what it is. If this is in a relationship context for you, um, there is a wonderful, happy, surprising development um, 
in terms of your relationship, but I'm also seeing this in terms of money, finances, or work. Okay, so this is looking uh, very promising in those areas as well. So that is the reading for the week, Pisces. Um, sending you much love, and I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.